that sound travels at 5,000 feet per second. And that will draw the other sharks in. All the books tell you the sharks can detect one drop of blood in a million drops of water. That's real impressive until you Google it and you discover that's about 13 gallons. <laughs> when you hear on Shark Week that a shark can detect one drop of blood a mile away, that is not true. They have to get in the scent line. Now the little fish are pinfish. The shark would eat the little fish. He just can't catch them. It's like trying to catch a fly with just your mouth. Okay. We have a couple more sharks coming in. He'll probably come in very fast because they're excited by him being here. That's still the same one right there. I think we should name this one Streak. Because he has those two streaks on his eyes. There's another one right there. So the skin is made of a material called dermal denical. Now what are those? Bull sharks? Oh, they're lemon sharks. They're called dermal denical. It is a series of tiny teeth, all pointed towards the tail. They're called dermal By the way, if one jumps up here, just put him back down. <laughs> Let me tell you the worst thing that's ever happened. Shark grabbed the bait, took off at high speed, I stopped, and the bait came flying through the air, hit that top rail up there, and bounced off a lady's shoulder. <laughs> but we convinced her that was good luck. <laughs> oh, now they're really carrying it up. Yeah, the, shark, the little fish love it. There's another one down there. The little fish love it when the sharks are feeding because if you look at each door, they get a lot of scraps that way. Two there, one over there. If you're not getting good pictures, it's not my fault. <laughs> This is interesting.